morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, the 27th, last day of the week, TGIF. And I'm getting this done a little early, 8.22 right now, uh, because there's no real economic news being put out at 8.30, so I don't have to wait. This is your pre-opening comment for Friday the 27th, and it is video number 914. As far as economic news, uh, the Michigan Consumer Confidence comes out today, uh, but that's at 10 o'clock. Uh, we also have uh, the virtual Jackson Hole uh, conference, um, and th there aren't any real surprises there. Um, most of the Fed governors were on TV yammering all day yesterday and last night about their thoughts. And the bottom line is all of those promises for uh, thinking about talking about tapering are coming home to roost pretty quickly uh, with uh, the opinion by many that uh, the inflation that we're going through now uh, already could not be considered transitory, seeing as it's been going on for 18 months. Okay, so Southwest Airlines cuts a uh, number of flights this fall based on logistics. Stock is unchanged. Microsoft says that there's a flaw, but they don't think it's been exploited. The stock is unchanged. NVIDIA and uh, ARM um, merger is being probed by the EU. And the stock is unchanged. Uh, Tesla files to be an electric provider in Texas. Not really sure what that one's about. Um, as far as uh, the earnings and the markets in general, Asia and Europe are pretty much unchanged. We are a little higher. On the earnings front, we had gap with a beat top and bottom line, and the stock had actually closed down $1.33 yesterday at $26.35. This morning, it's traded as high as $28.87. Last is $28.23, up $1.88, or 6.8%. Dell with the beat, stock closed one hundred one fifty five down 51 uh, traded down to $99.90. Last is exactly a hundred down a dollar fifty five one point five percent. HP Enterprise misses uh, the stock uh, missed on revenues, beat on earnings, and you know every time I say that I feel like I should ex I should explain the fact that you can't fudge the revenues. You can manipulate the numbers to beat the earnings. So every time I see a miss on revenues and a beat on earnings, it makes those earnings suspect to me. Um, uh, the stock closed 29.10 down 29 cents yesterday. This morning, 27.50 down $1.60, a little over 5%. Pellet. Ton. Also a miss. As a matter of fact, a pretty ugly miss. Not only that, but they're now cutting prices. So we'll see what happens there. And of course, uh, they had that work stoppage because of that accident with the treadmill. The stock closed 114.09 down 216 yesterday. It has traded as low as 101 today. Last is 105, and that is down about $9, 7.7%. And Neuro, a little one that I brought to you some time ago when it moved from $3.26 to $38 uh, in basically two days, uh, Closed at uh, 977 yesterday. Uh, the stock is 1335 this morning, up 338 or 34%. Um, this, if you've ever been to a chiropractor or had a nerve issue where the doctor used a TENS machine, that's a neurostimulator that kind of shocks your muscles into moving, um, that's what neuro 
does. Uh, I don't see any uh, news on it anywhere, uh, but as I said, up 34%. Chart on the screen, everybody knows how I feel about that gas. Yesterday, explosive to the upside, up 28.6 cents overnight and this morning, up another 14 and a half cents. Um, I'm not sure whether this is the same situation uh, as the oil, which is, uh, well, the whole energy complex is higher uh, based on uh, Hurricane Ida, which is moving into uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Um, most of the uh, workers are being airlifted off uh, drill platforms uh, and so oil is up about two percent that gas is up three and a half percent after being up uh, a real chunk yesterday oil up dollar fifty five uh, heating oil up two cents gasoline up three point six cents as I said net gas up fourteen and a half cents Brett crude, which has nothing to do with that hurricane, up a dollar thirty-three, and ethanol, which is a manufactured product, doing nothing. Uh, the gold is up two and a half. The silver is up about five. The stock futures are a little bit strong, up uh, ten seventy-five in the uh, S and P, up forty one in the NAS and up 75 in the Dow. The Russell is slightly higher, up six. Uh, the dollar is down seven cents. Bitcoin is up 560. Ethereum is uh, up about $60. And the bonds are basically unchanged, although they had a nice bounce uh, yesterday from down three quarters of a percent. Uh, pardon me, three quarters of a dollar and bouncing off the uh, 50 day moving average to close up and on the high. Very quiet this morning. Uh, looks like the uh, five day is crossed the 20 day to the downside. And clearly you can see these are lower highs. Uh, but the question is whether or not it will break and close below. I mean, we are right on the 50 and the 200-day moving averages. So so be careful out there. And uh, Kabul is still a huge problem. Uh, and, I, I, you know, that's just going to continue to develop. Um, and uh, we will see uh, what this market looks like. Uh, I kind of expect it to be uh, higher here at the open based on the futures uh, right now s p up ten and a half Dow up 7488 Nasdaq up 41 and a half and uh, we'll see how that progresses during the day I expect to see it